So I think that the project started in about November of 2017. The thing I enjoyed the most about the RV was putting it back together and seeing the new RV come to place. Did I learn anything or was I exposed to new tools? Um, I mean, I guess I learned some new things by listening in on what they were doing. My name is Tristan, uh, I'm 14, I'm in ninth grade, and I need 18 more credits to graduate. Uh, I'm Jade, I'm 16, I've been here since Halloween, that's when I started. What do you think about working with Harvey staff? Oh, it was pretty cool. They were pretty cool. They seemed to know what they were doing, so they helped a lot. Yeah, definitely yeah. knew what they were doing. For sure. For me, one of the challenges was, like, one staff would say one thing, and then another staff would say another thing. But, like, that's kind of part of the job with them, is you've got to brainstorm, and you've got to, like, right. approach it the way you would approach it. And I think that just goes to show that not everybody approaches a problem in the same way. First of all, I want to thank you guys for being willing to take part in this project. I think it's a very cool thing. Um, I think Chris is, is great for bringing this all together and making this part of your learning and your experiential learning this year. I hope it's a fun project for everybody. From my perspective, I've been thinking about this for a while. I first talked to Chris about this a few months ago, but I've been thinking about it even longer than that. I looked long and hard to find the right trailer. Believe me, I've looked at a lot of trailers over the past six months or so since we met as a class a, a while back. So I'm glad to find this one. I'm really glad when Brett says this is in good shape, has good bones and everything. I'm hoping we don't find too many surprises. It costs a lot of money or anything. More or less, you have to be a little mini contractor. I mean, these are a little house on wheels, and they're in many cases they're more elaborate than a house in the sense that they not only have one 120 volt wiring, they have DC wiring too. Um, they have plumbing and waste systems. Um, I don't know that this one does. There's no well, there is a is there a potty in this thing? Just a well, chemical, a chemical toilet. It's a chemical toilet. Okay. Um, yeah, and I mean you won't. You guys are going to be spending time around here. There's other trailers going to be going to another shop. You'll learn, you'll, you'll touch base with some differences. You know what I mean? Modern stuff versus versus something that was built back in the day. Um, there's a lot more conveniences nowadays than this thing's got for sure. I was just looking in some of your fifth wheel trailers. Yeah, I mean, some the of these things are insane. They're, like they're, houses, they're, I mean, they're huge. Yeah, yeah. And
and I can, I mean, if you want, we'll spend a couple of minutes today before you guys leave, depending on your time scale. I mean, we'll look at a couple. And, you know, we'll, you can buzz around this thing inside and out, which you've already done, all of you, I think, right? All right, what else do you think about it? What are your thoughts on it, Liv? I don't know what to say. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot? You think we can do it? Hmm? Obviously, yeah, well, it's small enough, but it's just... All right. While we were there, especially in the beginning, me and my sister, mostly me, would cook for the people working on the RV. I mean, I worked on the RV too, but um, because I couldn't do a lot of the hands-on stuff, I decided that it would be better to do something for them than, you know, try to wait. We didn't have too much money to spend on food, so we kind of went th with the cheaper option, and I mostly made grilled cheese sandwiches on a grill that was there already. The caulking was brutal, right? Yeah. It, that was one of the things that got me was we spent like weeks and weeks scraping caulking off something, and then we had decided, well, ultimately, they decided not to use the siding. Yeah. The, the little pry bar thingy and you use the jigsaw we use a couple of other things like a hammer and nails and stuff like that yeah and the sawzall yeah. sawzall that, that makes quick work or stuff like that walls down I use some chemicals to clean off the caulking or gauze and safety glasses for that part. I worked on restoring some of the original parts as well as ordering new ones. I cut wood into small parts to help build the bench and while the side walls were down I cut into so I had to replace the walls and one new metal was added. Nearly weeks of work for my guys, let alone these guys. So it's up to you. No, I don't want to. We don't okay. have to. No, we don't. Um, I scraped the, the what I might say to do. Um, putty stuff off of the windows and like the sides. I helped prime the walls before painting. I helped label and put stuff away. In different bags, cleaned some of that stuff. I also unscrewed stuff, um, polished the aluminum, did baths of like stuff we put on the aluminum to make Lily, it shine more. this hard work? I learned a good amount of things actually, mostly working with power tools and um, wiring, painting, cutting wood. It was interesting and I'm happy I was able to get the opportunity to do this project. In the beginning I wasn't really sure if it was a good idea or not, but now I'm thinking that no, it wasn't really a good idea, but we all learned something. Collect for return reward, and it has a number. It says Don Fritz, success, success. WB if found antique trailer. That's all it says. Huh. Uh, Craig might want to change the name and address on that, huh? Yeah, right. Because they are rare, very difficult to find. Um, it's kind of neat. Good idea from a previous owner. Yeah.
Um, my name is Fabiel and I'm 18. Uh, my name's Hunter, I am 16. Uh, my name's Jade, I'm 16. My name is Tristan, I am 14 and I am in ninth grade. My name is Lily and I am 16. My name is Olivia and I'm 16. I think it's fun and kind of interesting because I've learned a lot of new things like through doing it and stuff, but it can be a little stressful at times because sometimes like you just get to a point where you just don't know what to do. So. It's a pretty difficult project, but it's gonna help all of us and with something. Well, it's just manual labor. It's not easy. Um, I think it's interesting. It's definitely a change from what we had been doing in the classroom. Initially, there were people in the classroom that really wanted to do this, but they didn't end up staying. And I, I mean, I also want to do this, but I prefer being in the classroom and doing my work there. But I also enjoy being able to learn what, I mean, not a lot of people get to rebuild an RV. I think it's pretty cool. I mean, like, knowing that my grandmother, like, let us work in the spot, like, I don't know, I just think it's pretty cool. And honestly, it kind of, like, helps me get to show her, like, that I can actually do stuff. Learning how to take apart an RV like the right way without just like damaging everything. Like you have to be very careful about how you're doing it and stuff, so. Um, making me more understand with like frames and wiring and like piping and everything. Gives you good work, work ethic, I guess. Like, if you work hard and just get used to that mindset. I think that it's gonna turn out to be really good, and I think that everyone working on this has poured a lot of their time and heart into this. I know that sounds very cheesy, but you know, they seem to be enjoying it more than anything. And uh, I hope Craig likes it. Okay, I took these wires that connect to this, and those, and this, off of these, and put tape on and made so the work good. And you capped it? Yep, capped yep. it and put tape good. on it. Azzy, can I interrupt you? Grace, will you share what you're thankful for? My stress reducing journey has I'll take it. Craig? Uh, I'm thankful for you guys um, helping me with my trailer project and uh, for letting me come here today. Fab?